Alright, well, I've been looking for excuses to use my new camera, so I decided to make a little video on the wind machines since they're kind of cool. Um, this one is a Tout, I believe, and I'm not sure the exact height, but I think it's around 40 feet. Um, doesn't look that tall from here. The weeds are kind of high. I'm standing on the truck right now. But, uh, there's another one up there, and that one's a little different on that one. The whole entire whole entire stand is a gas tank. It has actually a section on the top and then the big section on the bottom. On this one here, it just has a one smaller gas tank right up there on the little platform. So I'll climb up there and we'll check things out a little further after I trudge through all this brush. All right, so I'm standing at the bottom of it now. And there's the ladder, you can see right there. So I'll climb up there onto the platform. Then the whole top portion turns with the, with the uh, props and all. And there's the other ladder section that I need to get to. It's kind of just hanging out there in space. Um, anyway. It's supposed to be turned, isn't it? Well, yeah, ideally it would have been stopped when it was on the platform there, but it wasn't. So I'll have to climb around to it. Anyhow, let's check out the bottom of it here a little more. This, which has a lock on it, is where the gasoline would be pumped in to fill the tank up top. Pump the gas in here, goes up that pipe, up into the tank. This other thing here, which has a lock on it, sort of, is where the gauge is. It actually has says tout on it and everything, has a model number, you can't really see too well. Anyhow, it's got gauges in it, which somebody broke a couple of them, a couple of them have been replaced. It's got the chokes, or the, these are actually the ignition switches, start buttons, it has dead batteries because it hasn't been running years. Um, down at the bottom is the pole throttle. Or actually the pull throttle back here on the choke. There are cables that go all the way up, all the way to the engines on top. All right, so let's go up top and check that part out. Jen decided to go up ahead of me. So how's the view up there? Come look over the side. Hello? Okay, I'm coming up. All right, I'm standing on the uh, platform now, the first platform, right next to the gas tank. And got a pretty good view from here. There's a shadow. There's our shadow. There's one of the props. The props are actually from old um, fighter planes. World War II airplanes. Um, there's the Bronco, there's the path where I drove in just now, hello, and let's see, here are some of the gears that make it turn, the motor on the left, right here on this side, has that gear driven, and that gear slowly turns with the engine which causes that whole top part to turn against the other gear. And the pipe coming down to the fuel tank turns as well. The whole pickup turns and everything. All right. Well, let's go up to the top as soon as I can get out to that ladder. I'll go up to the top and we'll check out the engines. There's one of the big rollers that the top rolls around on, on that ring. There's another one of the rollers up there. Other side of the gears. All right, now I'm standing up at the very top. Even better view from up here. There's one of the blades, the sun behind it 
one of the boxes, the engines, up here on top. There's the other blade. These are pretty big blades. Drive shaft heading out to them. Coming back here to the transmission, it's an old Ford transmission, which is locked into second gear. It's an old three speed. And the engine that drives this is actually a 47 flathead Ford from a truck, made 100 horsepower. There's the batteries, it has two six volt batteries to give it 12 volts of amperage for starting, a little mod. All right, well, let's pull the hood up on one of these and check out the engine. Radiator's right here in front. It pulls, it pulls air in from there. Here's the inside. Flathead V8 Ford with a one barrel. Voltage regulator. Oil cap. Oh, now there's a voltage regulator. One barrel car, but looks like it's got a um, mud thing in it. Wasp nest. Wasp nest. There's the alternator up on top in the center. Fan for the radiator. Radiator has got a wasp nest on it too. Maybe I'll throw it off the side here. There we go. Fuel filter. That was a wasp nest I found up here. Radiator cap. Probably a little dry. Ew, silverfish, gross. Let him go. There's a radiator. Oh, it is actually sort of wet ish inside still. Shake the last silverfish out of there and put this back on. Close the hood. Oh, there it is. Nice diamond plate floor. Here's part of the gearbox, or here's how the, uh, the here's the gearbox. It goes to those gears you saw below that makes it turn around, which is driven from, there's a crank pulley with an extra little belt on it, which goes to that belt, that pulley, which has a chain on it, which goes down to the gearbox. Lots of gearing down, as you can see. These turn very slowly. And there's the other side, the other motor. All right. There's a the ladder down. I guess I'll head back down. So there's the logo, Armco or something like that, on the gas tank. Big old gas tank. Tank sounds pretty empty. It's probably been dry for a while. Now that top part, when it turns, obviously that ladder hanging down there turns too. So it has to come right through here. It would come through that section in the rail and that section on the other side. There's Jen down at the bottom now. And now I'm going to come down. And there it is, now that the sun has set. Fading into the sunset. Or something.